Developing tonight, GM issuing another massive recall. More than 8 million vehicles affected this time. The largest single recall so far this year. And as you know, there's been a lot of them. Fox 28 reporter Rob Wells is live in West Columbus with a closer look at one of the biggest areas of concern. Rob? Well, Bob, GM officials say that once again, ignition switches are their biggest area of concern. Case in point, this 2005 Chevy Malibu, it's one of the vehicles that's on that lengthy list that was just released late this afternoon. Car experts that we spoke with say this is another major setback in a company that, as we know, is already under fire. But I can almost pull this out, her ignition's so worn out. Auto expert Dan LaJeunette shows us what GM officials are most concerned about with its latest recall this year. The 2005 Chevy Malibu, one of nearly 8 million vehicles on the road affected by today's recall because of concerns with vehicle ignition switches. If you've ever had a car that died on you and you lost your power steering, it's very hard. You've got to muscle it off the road. Well, with electric steering, it's like virtually impossible to turn. The recall includes the Chevy Malibu, the Oldsmobile Intrigue, Oldsmobile Alero, Pontiac Grand Am, Chevy Impala and Monte Carlo, along with the Pontiac Grand Prix and Cadillac CTS and SRX models. General Motors already under fire and shelling out millions of dollars to victims' families after more than a dozen people died allegedly as the result of faulty ignition switches. GM's in such the hot seat right now. Let's get our punches out of the way, get these cars fixed, move on. They know these problems are out here. If your car's on the list, Longinette says to call your dealership and have your vehicle's identification number ready so you can see what needs to be replaced or repaired. If you have one of the cars as an ignition issue, borrow your mom's car, your brother's car, your sister. I don't care if it's an if it's ignition problem, especially on the Cobalts, I personally would not drive. I would park that car. And it doesn't even stop there. Other vehicles also being recalled because of concerns over faulty wiring and fastener problems. Just click on to myfox28columbus.com for a complete list of all the models affected. Back out here live, we also checked with a lot of local GM dealers tonight, and they said they're going to have extended service hours because they know they're going to get a lot of calls from folks wanting to get in and get their vehicles checked. For now, reporting live in West Columbus, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.